welcome, welcome, welcome in. If you're a new subscriber, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. Always oh, happy to have you in my family. <laughs> now, in this video, Mr. Quasi and I will be discussing the solar plexus. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. We're going to be focusing on how to balance the solar plexus chakra using crystals. So let's get into it. The solar plexus chakra with crystals. With crystals. Wood. <laughs> yeah. These are three crystals that are great for the solar plexus. Again, we have tiger's eye. Then we have pyrite and citrine or citrine. Some people may pronounce it as. Now, first, let's take a look at tiger's eye again. We've discussed this one before for the sacral chakra and also for the root chakra. But now let's take a look at it and how we can use it for the solar plexus. When we use tiger's eye to help balance our solar plexus chakra, it gives us a boost of confidence. It helps us to release all fears of what others might think of us. So in a way, I guess you could say it helps you to protect who you are to help you to be confident in who you are, not really caring what others might think, if you know what I mean. So, Tiger's Eye helps you to be true to you. It helps you to make decisions without second-guessing yourself. It gives you that confidence to say, okay, this is the decision that I've made, and that's what it is. And you're confident, 110%. Now, Tiger's Eye is also good for getting rid of anxiety and keeping you balanced. It also helps to stimulate you into action. So if you want to take action towards your dreams and your goals and you feel connected with Tiger's Eye, then go ahead and use it. That said, there's many other ways that you can use this amazing stone. And as I always encourage you to do, research, explore, experiment, discover. Come back and share with the community. Let us heal and grow together, my loves. Now, the next stone is pyrite. Oh my gosh. Now, pyrite is just so beautiful to look at. I mean, almost all these stones are really beautiful to look at, but pyrite just from seeing it the first time, I felt so connected and drawn to this stone. If you feel drawn to pyrite, based on the pictures that you've seen here or any other picture you've seen anywhere else or maybe you've seen it in person, let me know in the comments. I was just so drawn to this stone. Pyrite for me is a dazzling stone and I felt like it represented my personality, my dazzling personality it just embodies who i am for the most part i mean you know <laughs> there's more to me than dazzles but for the most part i love pyrite because it, that feeling it gives it, it invigorates it inspires it just is such a vibrant stone now you might want to try this out for yourself if you feel connected or called to pyrite based on what I'm saying and the pictures you're seeing. If that's how you feel, I would love to know. Now, pyrite does not just look beautiful. It's really good as a protection stone. It helps you to protect your body from pollutions in the air. As in radiation that might come out of your phones or your televisions, you know, the technology around us. So pyrite is really good for protecting you there. I know this doesn't really connect with the solar plexus, but this is just an extra bonus and another good reason why you should. Or, you know, if you feel called to have pyrite around you, you could wear it as jewelry or just have the piece of stone on you on your left side 
or your receiving side. Pyrite is also good for memory, so here you could connect it to helping you to always remember who you truly are. Reinforcing your self-image, your self-power, your self-belief in who you are. It helps to promote physical well-being. So these are just some basic reasons why I love pyrite besides how awesome it looks. Keep in mind though, this stone is not to be submerged in water. You do not want water to touch pyrite because it releases toxin if, if it gets wet. So this is not a stone that you can cleanse with water. Anyway, let's get on to the next stone. Citrine or citrine, depending on which part of the world you are, you know, you pronounce it differently. But citrine. Now this stone, to me, it feels like a burst of sunshine and energy. This is the stone of abundance. Now, citrine might actually be the number one stone for the solar plexus, depending on who you are what you're thinking is in regards to these stones this may be the number one for me i love this stone i oh my gosh i just love crystals i know i keep saying it but i just really 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 do citrine is a blast it's it's beautiful energy it is confidence oh my gosh it's good for so many things let me just list a few for you Citrine gives you a feeling of optimism. So it helps you to feel optimistic. It helps you to feel positive. <laughs> so if you're feeling a little down and out, you might want to get some citrine. It just brightens you up. Now, it also is very good if you want to bring in financial abundance. Yes, this is considered the merchant stones. Um, many, many years ago, merchants would have citrine with them and, to attract good luck and abundance and just doing great business. This stone helps you to cultivate confidence. Yes, confidence and personal power. So it helps you to just feel like Oh my gosh, I am empowered and I can help others to become empowered as well because I know who I am and I can help others to understand who they are, move along their own path as I move along mine. Now, you can use all three of these beautiful stones to help you balance or just use one, whichever you feel called to or use none at all. You can use the other ways that I've discussed and how to balance. And like I always tell you, you can do a combination of things. You can use the essential oils. You can use the stones. You can use movement such as yoga, dancing, qigong, tai chi. I mean, the list goes on. Just be creative and do what feels right for you. We're all different and we all have different ways of healing. I'm just here to guide you, give you some tips, give you some examples, and just to encourage you to be a blessing to yourself so that you can be a blessing to others. Come on, come on, come on. Let's shine, let's rise to our greater self. The world needs you. So let's get balance. All right. Peace, love, blessings. And thank you for investing your time with me. May this information be a blessing to you and to those you share it with. Be always well. Divine healing to us all.